Hey everyone, it's me, Alex, and I'm here to bring you a general reading, a current energy check-in for you or your person, your situation. So let us see what God, Angels, and Universe has for the collective. Mm. Going for it, being aggressive. Boy, look at all them swords. Hoo-wee! Air signs. Shout out to my air signs. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. <clears throat> this just, you know, the air signs in the tarot represent communication, thought, intelligence, um, being analytical. I feel like, in all honesty, nine of swords, nine, nine ten, knight, and king. It feels like somebody's at their breaking point. They're nervous, they're worried, they're scared. They have a lot on their shoulders and they're craving for stability in either a relationship, home, finances. That knight of swords to me represents a conversation. I feel like somebody has something to get off their chest, but to an extent, it's almost like maybe every time they attempt to do it, uh, their delivery is shot. It comes out too direct. It comes out abrasive. It comes out the wrong way. Um, now with the tens here, tens represent completion. So I do kind of feel like once this is relieved, they get it off their mind, they get it off their chest. They talk about it. What's supposed to follow that are the, they're supposed to also release the burdens associated with whatever this situation is. Yeah, it feels like some sort of, I'm going to say departure from emotions, right? It's almost like they're in their head. They're not necessarily connecting with their heart, but I feel like they need to connect with their heart to connect with the outside world. Like again, relationship, job, community, you know, family, what have you. So it's almost like this is somebody who has a lot to say. But based on their delivery, um, maybe you as the receiver, you only hear the delivery. You only hear the anxiousness. You only hear the anger. You only hear the abrasion in their communication. Yeah, and this is troubling them. Do I want to use light sears? Nah, let's use Rider Weight. What's your part in this collective? Angels just said, you are the receiver. Interesting. Now, I feel like also, too, this could be your energy. As in, you, okay, as in you don't want to hear what they have to say because what they have to say because of their delivery. That makes sense. Okay. I'm trying to shorten these my messages instead of coming out with these long, drawn-out explanations, so... All right, let's see what's about to happen. Mm. This has something to do with, oh, look at the three of cups just fell out off the bottom. They don't know how to express to you that you make them happy, that you bring them joy. I also kind of feel like you guys are separated or split up and they're rushing back towards you to keep you from moving on. That makes sense. Okay. So what else is about to happen? Yeah, look at that. You got the two of the fastest moving knights. There's that anger, by the way, that fiery, passionate communication. This person is, it feels like they're mentally and emotionally unstable. Um, kind of feels like when they finally do get to get a chance to speak to you, they're so overwhelmed and so afraid that you're not going to stick around, right? As in, if you've already walked away, it's almost like when they finally get you on the phone, when they finally get your attention, they become bombarded with all of these thoughts. And it's almost like they try to say 99 things at once because they feel like they have to, they have to, not say whatever it is that they need to say to get you from leaving, but it's almost like they want to share so much with you 
in hopes that once you really know what's on their mind, what they've been going through, that that would make a difference in you leaving or walking away permanently. Poor baby. Yeah, this is somebody who is stressed. And I would even venture to say they're suffering from a high amount of anxiety right now. And what's unfortunate is that it feels bottled up. They don't know how to get it out and release it. Get it out and release it to the point where it's going to make a difference to them. They're going to feel satisfied because if they're angry, chances are they're not going to be satisfied. They're just going to be angry. Um, the second thing is so they get angry, but also at the same same time that it's clear, right? That you understand and you understand it, that you get it, that you know that you, you know, kind of understand to an extent their point of view. Yeah, angels are saying it's, yeah, look at that. Wow, this reading is very freaking specific to somebody. You got the nine of wands and the ten of wands, nine of swords, ten of swords. They're down on their knees. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to release this pressure. And I feel like they want to talk to you, maybe hoping that you were the antidote, that you can assist them with relieving this pressure and that you guys will be able to move on. Mm. This is a perfect candidate for uh, therapy. And for if many of you who are dealing with somebody like this, I would actually recommend therapy, right? So they are sitting in a non-threatening, controlled environment where they could just say any and everything. All right, now we're using light seers. Oh, Queen of Pentacles. They're hoping you'll give them another chance. I'm also hearing they're hoping that you will excuse their behavior. Yeah, I also kind of feel like, again, they feel like you are the remedy. Four of Cups. Three of Cups, Four of Cups. Um, I think for you, I feel like this bottom row is your energy collective. I feel like for you, it was fun until it wasn't. I also kind of feel like emotionally, you're just numb. Because if you look at these swords up here, they're high numbered swords. King is, is the highest sword in the tarot, right? I feel like this behavior has been going on for a while. So it's almost like with that four of cups, you're over it. It's like, yeah, no wonder you walked away or pulled back your emotions because you're over it. Oh, I have a very special angelic message. I mean, I don't know how special it is, but I have an angelic message for you collective because I feel like with this queen of swords, this represents you, right? You're calm, cool, collected, mature, know how to convey your messages, know how to manage your emotions. The message from the angels is that's beautiful, that's wonderful, but there are people in your world who absolutely do not know how to do that, right? So here's the thing. Angels are not saying to you, oh, you know, you guys are different. You know how to communicate and manage your emotions and they don't. They're not saying that just to point out the differences. I feel like they're pointing that out to expand your perception of the world. Because you may be looking at, through the world like, well, damn, I want somebody who's a lot like me, who's able, who's, who's balanced, who's able to communicate their emotions, um, communicate clearly and balance their emotions, right? But angels are saying it just doesn't work that way. So I feel like there is, and I'm getting chills at the back of my head, but I feel like this is like a message for you collective in saying, um, ew, I hate to use this, but I think from your standpoint, it's almost like this person has a handicap, right? As in, there's something about them that's not functioning correctly, communication, thoughts, you know, um, communication and thoughts, right? Perhaps for some of you, it could be intelligence, right? And again, whether that intelligence is mental or emotional, it just kind of feels like there is a short circuit 
somewhere on their side, not a medical, uh, medical personnel. This is not a diagnosis. It's basically just saying they're different from you and they're actually maybe in their difference. They're God, I hate to I hate to use this word, but in their difference, they're just lesser or not the same or, you know, you're an apple, they're a peanut. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to say I don't like the word lesser. And and Queen of Pentacles, if you're dealing with a knight, technically you guys are on, let's just call it a different wavelength, okay? I don't like the, the ranking of anything because as spiritually, spiritually there's, there's no such thing. So what else is going to happen? What should the collective do? Or do, what does the collective want to do? King of Wands, there's that anger. They trigger you. Yeah, this is a, a battle of the minds. Because you have Aquarius here and you have Leo here. And I feel like it's, it's a battle, battle of ego and pride in the mind. So they trigger you with the Knight of Wands. And angels say, get you to stoop to their level because they're both kings. Now, at the end of the day, you're not stooping because y'all are both kings, right? This is like the battle of two alphas. So it's like you go from emotionally dormant to emotionally charged. Ace of Swords on the Ace of Swords. You guys need to have a very come to Jesus, come to Moses, come to Buddha conversation where you just put everything out on the table. Because I feel like they want to talk to you and clear the air. I think that you owe them the same. Take it as it resonates. Two of swords. A lot of swords on this table. Two of wands, two of swords. Bring love into the situation. It just hit me. It just hit me, bring love. Because you're not loving over here. You've already turned your back, right? This soulmate connection. You've already turned your back. In order for you guys to mend this, you're going to have to bring love into the situation. Because the majority of cards here on the table are swords and wands. So it's almost like you guys take turns at poking each other, right? Not only that, but when the two of swords came out, that kind of says to me that emotions are absent. Like nobody's being compassionate. Nobody's being tender. Nobody's getting back into the joy and the love and what brought you guys together. Six of wands twice. You want to work it out. Excuse me. They want to work it out. You want to work it out because you guys know you're quote unquote meant to be. I feel like I want to put another row out. Angels say four. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go there. Let's put another row out. Why not? It's the weekend. Okay. So angels are saying to me, this next row is what you guys need to do collectively, right? This is your person. This is what's in between you and them. And this is you. And a card already fell on the floor. And is hiding. Great. Okay. All right. I see you over there, little baby. Mm -hmm. You better be good, too, making me work for you. Judgment. So was it? what is it going to be? What is it going to be, collective? Oh, shoot. Jesus Christ, I got to expand this area. I'm in the corner in my room. Anyway, yeah, what is it going to be? That's resurrection. But I feel like um, angels are saying balance. They need to balance. They need to balance how they talk to each other. Because I feel like when they, when they trigger you, yeah, you go, you know, it becomes, it becomes a, a mental war. 
okay so what's going to happen now judgment resurrection here in that higher calling a revelation angel said some of you guys didn't know you didn't know about their approach until you've watched this video that's amazing i love that temperance patience okay strength endurance bringing love into the situation taming that wild beast of the ego and pride <sighs> there it is nine of cups you guys have to bring love you both have to mutually bring love back into the situation high priestess justice okay when i when i put turned over that and saw the justice card i heard thine will be done this to me this bottom row feels like a truce okay this feels like a truce you guys are going to have to call a truce i also kind of feel like with the temperance okay a couple of messages i was going to say with the temperance i feel like time apart is necessary right because again You've done your part. You've already, you know, skedaddled, okay? You guys are opposites. There it is. You're both alphas and you're opposites, okay? But in this card, the lion is in pain. So this king of wands perhaps is in pain because that's Leo. This is Leo. Leo's the lion, right? They, they may not be a Leo. They may have Leo somewhere in their chart. They could have Sag or Aquarius somewhere in their chart, right? But to tame this situation, as I mentioned earlier, love, tenderness, kindness, compassion is needed. And it's sitting here next to the Nine of Cups, which is emotional fulfillment. So it's almost like to tame and resolve this situation, love and compassion is needed. Why is the high priestess here with the just the high priest? Because you got judgment and justice, right? So it's almost like, yeah, the decision, the final decision. What are we going to do? Because you don't want to be bothered. They're trying to keep you from walking away, right? Or they're wanting you guys to get back together. On the low low, you want to get back together as well. Or you're going to successfully walk away from this and find another situation, right? Success for you collective could be to leave permanently and move on to, to something else. I would feel that wholeheartedly had that lover's card not been there. I would feel like you would walk away if this lover card, lover's card was not there. Because the lover's card is there with the four of wands, you walked away, but I don't feel like that's what you wanted to do. I feel like you walked away because you were being starved emotionally, right? It was almost like, yeah, it was good. And then it wasn't the love disappeared. So I'm disappearing too. I get it. So with the high priestess, high priestess, that's subconscious energy. That's the unknown. That's how you guys are going to leave it when you have this conversation. I get it. Oh, angels are saying, no, that's the current energy you're sitting in is you don't know what's going to happen here. But energetically, it's, it looks as though with the six of wands here, twice justice and four of wands, you guys are supposed to resolve this. You guys are supposed to find your way back to towards each other. You guys know, like I know, you have a shitload of free will. So again, your free will is, um, you know, your free will could also be to walk away from this as well and go find your happiness somewhere else. Angels just said to me, the high priestess are your, in, uh, listen to your intuition. Angels are saying lots of them are watching these types of videos. I get it. I get it completely. You're dealing with somebody who possibly has Gemini in their rising or Gemini in their Mercury position. Um, this is Scorpio and Aries with that Mars card. Do we have Venus on the table? No, Venus is not here. 
I got Libra down. Oh, Libra's here. So they, there's Venus. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn. Temperance is Sagittarius. Aquarius, Sagittarius, Leo, Leo. Cancer and Libra. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Angel Answers, what do you have for the collective? Can't make this stuff up. Listen to your intuition. What is your intuition telling you? Uh, angels are saying do that exercise with them now. Do me a favor and just take a deep breath. Relax. Drop your shoulders. Chill out. Close your eyes. Feel the breath coming through your nose. And, and see if you can get an answer to this question. You ready? What do you want to do about this situation? There's your answer. Okay, angels, can we get the physical answer in the angel answers cards? That would be awesome. Ask for help from others. Yeah, a lot of you guys are searching to try to figure out what you should do about this situation. Nice. And I just asked angels for answers. So I'm asking for help from others. My angels, our angels, remain positive. I love it. I love it. I love it. In the near future, what? <laughs> Big happy changes with this person or somewhere else, somebody else. Look for a sign. Romance. Romance needs to be back in here. Abundance and abundance of romance. You know, um, angels are saying with the scales, tipping of the scales. So if there was a whole lot of mental energy already displayed, right? That one scale to balance it, you need the emotion to balance it, right? Um, but I feel like, like if the mental scale is already down on the ground, if you will, then you're going to need a lot of emotion to start to pull it up, right? So if this is 50 pounds, you're going to at least need 50 pounds of emotion to, to level it out, right? So that romance and abundance, right? Look for a sign says where you need to insert 50 pounds of romance and love into this situation to level it back out. Not only that, but angels, I'm getting chills on this. Angels are saying when it's finally balanced, that's when you'll get the truth and clarity that you're, you're, you'll need. Because I just kind of feel like right now, especially with how your person is feeling and how they keep triggering you, you guys are not going to resolve this. You're not going to resolve this at all, at all. Not only that, but the universe is calling on for you to have patience. This person could be going through something technically. Who knows? I'm not making excuses for them, but I just kind of feel like, Whatever it is they're going through, it's going to have to run its course before they bottom out 10, 10, right? And then hopefully you can come in with that 50 pounds of emotion and, and them as well, right? It can't be you alone, but you both come in with that 50 pounds of emotion to start to level this back out. All right, collective boo-boo, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I hope this message helped. If it does, yeah, let me know in the comments, right? And also don't forget to like and subscribe. Is there anything else? Because they just drew my attention over here. I feel like this is the ultimate goal. You saw yourself with this person or marrying this person, but it's almost like you had to walk away. Notice how they're still near the cups. They haven't fully left the cups, so there's still emotion lingering. You think or feel like this is your person. The double six of wands says to me, you guys can get over and get past and get through this. But again, it's going to take you guys coming together to balance it out. It's going to take a mutual um, decision to meet in the middle to resolve this. Fingernail was dirty. Um, to come in the middle and resolve this. And then you guys can kind of move on to greener pastures. All right. Now I'm really out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you, collective. Bye.